Happy holidays to my soap making friends out there. Today I have something new that I've been working on for you. I've been really quiet lately over in the Facebook group for a couple of weeks and that's because I've been focused on building an essential oil calculator for you guys to use as a tool for your soap making recipes. Now this took me a really long time and I wanted to have it ready as a Christmas present for you but I had to put a few extra long days into it so instead it has to be a New Year's Day present and, uh, and so now let me explain what this tool will do for you. Here this will allow you to build your own essential oil blend and then it'll give you a red or green color code to let you know if each oil in your blend breaks down within the safety guidelines of the IFRA. Now today's video is a tutorial on how to use this new essential oil calculator and so all the details are going to be explained to you in just a few moments. Now if you want, you can go over there and start playing with it immediately. The link to the tool is um, just posted below this video. You do not have to be a member to use the tool. You don't even have to log in if you want to. This is free and open for everyone. And I just want to make sure that we thank Yvonne Game. She's one of our friends in Australia who's a member over in the Facebook group. She was the inspiration to create this helpful little calculator. Originally this was her suggestion. So if you see her over in the Facebook group, be sure to say hi and be sure to say thank you for the great idea. And if you have any ideas about tools like this that you would like to see that would help make creating your recipes easier, please let me know because maybe I can make that for you and post it online for everybody to use and then we can all benefit from your idea. So speak up in the Facebook group if you, if you have something that you've always wished you could use as a tool but don't quite have access to because maybe I can do something about that. Okay, so without further delay, here is the new essential oil calculator tool and happy holidays, happy soaping to all you guys out there and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my next soaping ideas. Welcome to the essential oil calculator. With this tool, you can create your own essential oil blend for your soap or cosmetic DIY products and then a graph will produce a chart that will tell you if your blend falls into the range of tested safety for skincare. And then you can see if the blend that you've created works as a light fragrance or if you can really put a heavy aroma into your product and stay within the safe usage range. The standards we're using in this calculator are based on the recommendations of the IFRA, the International Fragrance Association's scientifically tested guidelines. So let me show you how to use this calculator. In part one, you're going to select your combination of essential oils. Let's select three oils. We'll choose balsam, chamomile, and helichrysum. You'll need to tell the calculator what percentage of each of these essential oils that you want to make up in your blend. The total amount must add up to 100% to make up your full blend. So let's make it 50% balsam, 30% chamomile, and 20% helichrysum. Now we go to part two. Enter the amount of product that you want to make. If you're making a lotion, this will be the total amount of the product. But if you're making a cold or hot process soap, remember, you just enter the total amount of the oils in your recipe, not the entire weight with the lye water solution. We're just going by the oils. So to keep this easy, and you can see the math in the graph, let's just set this to 100 ounces. You can also measure it out in grams if you want. Next, you're going to select your IFRA category. Now the International Fragrance Association tests the skin sensitivity of different products based on how they're used on your skin. So a category like lipsticks and baby creams are going to be more highly sensitive compared to say maybe a rinse away body wash. Now you don't have to know the breakdown of each category and what you can do here in this drop down menu is just select the type of product that you're making then each product will tell you what category it falls under in case you want to know that and see how your skincare product is classified and identified. Now finally, you may want to save this or print it out so you can just give your blend a name if you want to. Now click the button that says give me usage rates and let's go check out our results. Here you'll immediately see the name of your blend and the oils that you've chosen along with their percentages and the amount of oil in your recipe along with your selected product type. This little description box below will tell you a little bit more about the category that your product falls under and it'll give you other products that also fall into that category so you can get a good idea of how your product is classified. 
Then below this, we have your customized chart. Here, your oils are listed again with the amount that you've selected broken down into your chosen percentages. Now each column will give you a different amount based on how heavy you want to fragrance your recipe. You may want 1% of your recipe to be composed of fragrance, or you may want 3%. Now if the amount shows up in a green box, you are in the safe range. And if the amount shows up in a red box, well you've exceeded the safe range for that oil being used for that product in that percentage breakdown. Now this format is similar to other charts that you may find online. I wrote that intentionally so that you don't have to go through a complete new learning curve and you can use this with somewhat familiarity. But at this point, you can either trust the calculator and proceed with your recipe, or you may feel like you're missing some information, especially if you really aren't an essential oil expert. So this chart here in front of your eyes tells you that your blend may fall into a safe range or not, and you may need to play with your numbers to get them where you want them to be. But what it doesn't tell you is what the maximum usage rate for each oil and how close you are to being at that top usage rate, despite the fact that you're still in the safe zone. And I feel like not only do I want to know if my numbers fall within the safe range, I also want to know how close I am to that maximum usage range. So if you look further down, each of the oils that you've selected will have an additional little graph that you can look at. So if we look at the balsam, you can see the top recommended usage for that oil, and then you can compare it to your chart. So here I've chosen category seven, just randomly, and this one happens to be insect repellent. And the top usage rate for insect repellent is a minuscule 0.07%. So that turns out to be seven one hundredths of 1%. Well, that may as well be zero. So you should expect that pretty much any number that comes up for balsam for insect repellents should be red. And if you go back up here and look, you can see that it is. And if we look at the next oil, which is chamomile, the max usage rate for category seven is 5%. And if we look up here at the numbers, we are well under 5% of the total amount of the recipe. So, as you would expect, these boxes will all be green. And finally, if we look at the helichrysum, we see that the max usage of category seven is 5% also. And we're way under that in this blend, so you can expect all these boxes will also be green. And you can double check every colored box by glancing down at the corresponding chart below, looking at the category you selected, and then just divide that by your desired percent. Now, you can see for yourself that you're under or over your safe usage rate. So if you wanna double check just to feel more confident about your recipe, you can do that in just a matter of seconds with those supplemental charts below. And then below that, you can add any notes for your own reference before you print out your blend, and then voila, you have all your numbers needed to create your recipe. Now this chart should give you the confidence to follow through with any recipes that you're working on, but it's important to know that you need to know about the essential oil that you're using in your formula. Essential oils are highly concentrated, and some are even lethal if ingested, some are benign, some are very popular and even the enjoyable smells that we're all used to can be photosensitive, which means that if you overdo it and then you expose yourself to direct sunlight, you could end up with third degree chemical burns on your skin. So you need to make sure that you know what you're putting into your recipes. Now, if you wanna know more about essential oils and other fragrances and the basics of adding them into your soap and cosmetic recipes, then you can learn more in Lesson 5 of the Thermal Mermaid Soap Makers course and resources. Lesson 5 is one of 11 lessons, along with the full recipe directory, that will teach you the craft of homemade soap making. Now, this is not an all-inclusive training on all essential oils. There are courses out there that you can find. They can cost thousands of dollars. They can even take months to complete. If you want a full holistic training on essential oils, then you'll need to look for those. But if you wanna get started with the basics and understand the safety so that you can formulate your recipes with confidence, then this is a good place to start.